Today's video, we're going to talk about uh, ways to communicate when you're out of cell phone coverage, whether you're having an emergency in the woods, you're broken down in the middle of nowhere in your vehicle, or you just want to say hello to somebody. And we're going to take a look today at the SpotX two-way satellite messaging um, device and uh, try to answer the question, is it worth it? Let's see if we can find out coming up next here on Survival on Purpose. Welcome back to Survival on Purpose, your home for trustworthy information and gear reviews related to camping, survival, and general preparedness for regular folks. My name's Brian. Thanks for joining me. So, as I said, we're going to talk about this SpotX a two-way satellite messaging device today. Try to see if um, if it's worth the money, the 200 bucks plus the subscription service. Uh, real quickly, I bought this one a year ago, last August 2021, uh, when I was headed to Thunder Ranch in Oregon in my 2009 Wrangler Jeep Wrangler with 300,000 miles on it. Uh, my friend James Jager recommended this. He said he's got one and um, he's never steered me wrong. I, I drove out there, followed him and, and some other guys from, from Tactical Response to, to go to uh, Clint Smith's place out in Oregon. But I was driving back by myself, cross country in a Jeep with 300 and something thousand miles on it. And I thought, you know what, if this thing breaks down in the middle of nowhere and I don't have a cell phone signal out west, there's places there's no signal, um, then I'm gonna be in trouble. So I wanted to get this. So I paid 250 bucks for this one. Uh, there are 200 bucks now, just so we're clear on that. but. There are some that are a little more expensive, or actually there's some that are a lot more expensive than this, and some that um, similar devices that are a little less expensive. So I'm gonna try to see if this one is, is, is a good deal or good value, and at least help you make that decision today. So first of all, let's talk about the specs of this thing real quick. Uh, it's six and a half inches tall, including the antenna. Uh, that is, for those of you still stuck in that metric system, that's 16.61 centimeters. It is 2.9 inches wide, or 7.37 centimeters. It's 0.94 inches thick or 2.39 centimeters, and it weighs 7 ounces or 198.4 grams. It's a Bluetooth range of up to 30 feet to connect it with the, with the phone, so you can use the uh, Spot app on your phone. Uh, it has a store, operating and storage temperature range of minus 4 degrees Fahrenheit to 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, 20 degrees Celsius to 60 degrees Celsius, and an operating altitude of minus 328 feet above below sea level to 21,320 feet above sea level. That's a, minus 100 meters or, or plus 6,500 meters. Um, I don't know where you'd be 328 feet below sea level and need to use this because it's not uh, rated for that underwater, obviously. But it is IP67 submersible for one meter up to 30 minutes, uh, what impact water and dust resistant. Battery life is 240 hours a maximum, and it uses the Global Star Low Earth Orbit Satellite Network, which has 48 satellites. Some of the other devices use the Iridium Network, which has 66 satellites, so a little bit better coverage. But this, uh, there's a coverage map online. This thing covers all of North America, most of the world. Uh, so if, if you're in a place, maybe like there's a few places in maybe Central, Central Asia that it doesn't cover, but you can look at the map there. But if you're in the U.S. or, or, or most, most, most of Europe and Asia, it, it'll cover it. So why would you need something like this? Talk about what this is mainly designed to do. It's not a satellite phone, first of all. There's no, no, no voice on here. This is all messaging, but it allows you to message without any cell service. Like I said, it has an app that you can use your phone. You can connect it with your phone and use your app, and it gives you a little better better access to your contacts and stuff, but you can program ram them in here. What I like about this is you don't need a phone. If my phone dies, if it gets ran over, if it gets stolen, anything, I've got a way to contact somebody for help. It has a dedicated phone number, so you can receive messages on here. Holds up to 70 contacts. And you can create custom messages up to 140 characters using the onboard keyboard. So you just type it in right here. And those messages can even include your elevation and or GPS coordinates with a click of a little click here. It has 14 predefined messages you can create and sync them on here. And that way you just push the predefined message. You don't have to type anything like, hey, I'm here, uh, send help, uh, whatever. You can, you can, whatever your imagination can come up with in 140 characters. And then 
It also has check-in message, which uh, you can just send it one check-in message and you just push one button, lets them know, hey, I'm here, or you know, I'm going to bed, good night, or whatever you want to say. You can also link your social media accounts if you want to post to your social media from the middle of nowhere. Another thing I really like about this is if everything really goes haywire, has an SOS feature, and it's got a cover there so you don't accidentally do it, pop that cover open, there's your SOS button. And if you do it by mistake, it, it has a way you can you can cancel it. And it tells you on the back here. Even it's right on the back of the of the device here. It tells you how to do that, which is cool, because you need to know if you do activate the SOS button, wheels start turning immediately. A search and rescue uh, apparatus starts happening, and you might uh, the the cash register might start ringing on you too. So, so some places are charging for search and rescue now, um, and because there's a lot of money gets spent doing that, right? This, it, helicopters aren't free. This thing also has location tracking and sharing. Um, so you can navigate using a built-in compass, which is pretty cool. Programmable waypoints, all kinds of stuff like GPS. Honestly, there's probably better apps that, 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 that will give you better mapping stuff than this because there's really not a lot. Of, I mean, just, you're not going to get a map on here. It has mapping uh, spot mapping, which and here's what it says, just so I'll read it to you. Spot mapping is an enhanced mapping interface that empowers users to maximize the value of their spot device from anywhere in the world with the ability to track their progress while adventuring, send their waypoints, set an alert for check-in or custom messages, and send a message to their spot X device from the, the platform, whatever that means. Um, there's no map on here, though. You're not going to see much of a map. Uh, you can sync it with your app and use your phone if you can get that. But there's better apps on the phone for mapping, I believe, that work on the GPS on the phone, which doesn't need cell service either. Basic mapping is included in your basic subscription. I, I paid $250 a month for the premium mapping, which has got some uh, longer history and map features and stuff I don't ever use. I don't know why I'm doing that. Um, I probably should kill that part of it, but I thought I might want that stuff, and it turns out, you know what, this is, this, again, this, for me, this is just an emergency device. I keep this in my truck just in case um, I need to get in touch with somebody for an emergency or whatever, and there's no phone service. Um, that, that, for, that, for me, that's all it is. So this is like an insurance policy. So Unlike the personal locator beacons, which you might have heard of, that just got this call for rescue, they work on public satellite networks, and those are free. This, the beacons aren't free, but the but the the messages are. This is a private um, satellite network, Global Star, and there's a fee. So the way that works is there's a twenty nine ninety five activation fee when you buy this, and then there's two different plans. You can get a contract plan, which is good for twelve months at a time. You got to sign up for a year's contract, and there, um, that gives you unlimited SOS, unlimited check-in messages, unlimited predefined messages, tracking intervals, and you get so, so many custom messages a month, depending on which which plan you want. The basic plan is eleven ninety five a month, gives you twenty custom messages, and no tracking alert, no movement alert, and then the advanced is nineteen ninety five a month, gives you a hundred custom messages, and adds a couple of more tracking intervals. And the unlimited is thirty bucks a month, twenty nine ninety five a month, and there's no limit, so you can type as many messages as your little thumbs can type. I got the uh, advanced at nineteen ninety five a month first because. I thought I might need more messages than that. As it turns out, I'm just paying 22 bucks, 22 something, including the mapping for an insurance policy. Maybe I need to kick it down to 11.95 a month and save myself 200, you know, 100 bucks a year. And then there's also flexible plans that if you don't want to pay for this every month, but you, but you want to have it for, if you're going on a trip or you're going hiking or something, you can do that. It's cost you a little bit more per month, 14.95, 29.95, and 39.95. But there's also a $35, 34.95 annual flexible fee. So if you're going to use it for more than a, a few months at a time, it's probably better to get the uh, contract plans. But you can you can figure all that out. You're smart. So um, that's that's kind of the basics of it. Just let me show you a, a real quick rundown of the device itself. Um, there's an on-off button up here. There's a um, micro USB charger here. It takes six hours to recharge it from dead. And then the way it works is it looks like it would be a touch screen, but it's not. It has this little four, this little square thing here, and depending on which way you, you push it, it makes it move up and down or whatever. And then when you find the one you want, like um, we'll go to messages, you just push the one in the middle, and that locks it up, takes it up. And so if you want to go back to the other screen, you put that one there. And there you go. And then the, all these have, you know, they've got the uh, 
I'll just read them to you. Messages, create message, contacts, check in, track intervals, fetch messages, navigation, and system settings. And we, there's a compass inside there. It's, it's got a built-in compass along with the GPS, and it really works pretty well. I checked it, and it is it's pretty accurate, to be honest with you. So instead of taking up all your time trying to show you that, they work just like they say they want to do. If you want to create a message, you go to create message, you type your, con hit the contact area and it pulls up your contacts if you've already got them in here. If you don't have them in here, you can type them in the phone number or the email or whatever you want to do and then type them in just with a little keyboard here. So there's that. So the big question we want to answer is, is it worth it? So you're looking at 200 bucks for this thing right now. I paid 250, but now it's 200 plus 30 bucks for activation, no matter what. So that's 230 bucks right there to get this thing working because you got to have a program, you got to have a plan. And then at a minimum, 12 more bucks a month. So <clears throat> that, that's 11.95. So that's that's the, the minimum you can have just to have an emergency peace of mind. So you got to decide if that's worth it to you. But I will say um, comparatively, a Garmin um, InReach Mini, I think is the one that, um, the next one, it's like 400 bucks maybe 450 now. It does not have a keyboard on it. You have to you have to use your phone to, to type custom messages. You can you can set up pre-programmed messages and use them with that. You don't have to have a keyboard for that. But it doesn't have a screen so you really can't see or not much of a screen. You can't see what's going on as well to me. I've got one. We're going to take a look at it in another video, but to me, this is I like this one because it has the keyboard and has the ability to type in. It's really the only one I could find at the time that had the ability to be a standalone device. You didn't have to use a phone. You could type custom messages in on a keyboard, um, and the price was pretty good. There's one or two that may be a little bit lower than this. There's a couple that might have different, maybe cheaper monthly cost or something like that. But overall, this seems like a pretty good value to me. Um, it's a... Uh, it does use a Global Star network, which is not as prolific as the Iridium network. I think there's like 40 something satellites in Global Star and 66 or something in the Iridium, uh, which is what Garmin uses and some others. So there, there's more coverage on the Iridium, but the coverage for me on this one is fine. Um, I haven't found anywhere that it doesn't have any coverage that I've been in the continental US. And I, like I said, from Georgia to Oregon, um, this thing has got, has had, has had coverage. So, um, that's through the mountains over the Rockies, through the desert, um, in, in Nevada and, and you name it off through Texas, the whole, I'm, it's, it's everywhere I've been, it's had coverage. So, um, for me, it's, it's a pretty good, good deal. I pay 20 bucks a month and it's just like insurance. I keep it in my truck. And if I ever need to get in touch with somebody and for whatever reason, the cell phone's not working. I got a, at least a better shot of doing so without spending literally, you know, hundreds of dollars on a, on a sat phone. So that's it. I hope this has been helpful. Just to be clear, they didn't, they're not paying me to make this video. They didn't send me this. I've got zero, zero relationship with the folks at Spot, zero. I bought this with my money and I've been using it for a year. And I say using it mostly, it's been sitting in my truck just sitting there and waiting. But I've checked it out several different places. It's always got a signal everywhere I've been in the U.S. So um, I hope this has been helpful. Um, again, it's just a way to be prepared and, and to make sure that you're prepared for, for any sort of emergency. And communications are always a critical part of any, any situation. Um, you, you, communications are just really the, could be the difference between success and failure or survival and non-survival. So I hope this has been helpful. Uh, again, uh, and uh, if you want to check these things out, they have a pretty comprehensive website, but it's pretty confusing too. If you, so I thought I would try to hound dog some of this for you. I hope I've been successful in doing so. And I really appreciate you watching Survival on Purpose. Remember, survival is not an accident. So be prepared. I'll see you next time.